Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Sightmark Wraith 4K Mini. Uh, this is a 2 to 16 by 32 uh, digital day or night vision device. It's got a 4K sensor in it. It runs on uh, two CR123 batteries over here. This is the battery compartment as you can see. They drop down inside of here. Um, obviously I've got this eye scope attached to the back of it here so that I'm going to be able to film uh, some of the widgets and that down through the devices I'm recording. But you've got a pretty uh, simple and easy to operate top pad up here. It's basically got up, down, left, right arrows and then a center function button in the middle. Um, there's a diopter focus back here on the rear which I've got covered up and then you have active focus to target. Uh, it comes with a really nice little IR light. Uh, it's got a spot to flood adjustment up here on the front of it. You've got three clickable uh, intensity settings. Normally this would also run on two CR123 batteries. Um, over here we have a little port cover window that you pull out. It's rubberized. You have your micro uh, you, or excuse me, uh, SD, micro SD card here, and then you have a USB-C uh, charged or data port, so you can access uh, the device through, via that to, to power it. Um, they include a really nice little uh, 90 degree cable there with the device. That they've got this little second window up here that you can operate through there, so you know you basically can keep the SD card covered up as well, and then you can close both of those doors. Over here we'll see that it also comes with a really nice little uh, rubberized eye guard that would normally attach back here. Makes the device itself without the eye guard on it is about six inches uh, long. It's really compact, a nice lightweight little device. Right now running $799.97. It's again, it's a full color uh, daytime uh, along with uh, IR night vision. It's a really slick device. We're going to jump inside of it and I'll show you around. Okay folks, so I've got my little eye scope hooked up here on the little mini. We're going to jump inside the menu and I'm going to show you just real quickly how the one shot zero function works. Um, if you've had an HD, this is going to look super familiar. I think this is the same manufacturer that did the HD. Just, just a higher quality uh, image in the device because of the 4K sensor. So again, we're going to jump in here. I've got the record going on the back of here. Uh, we're going to hit the center menu button to uh, enter the reticle zeroing menu so we're going into reticle settings again I'm manipulating this by uh, using the up down left right arrow keys and then uh, center button presses to select items so from out here at the main screen I'm doing a center button press to open up my main menu I'm arrowing down one click to reticle settings uh, down a couple clicks here to reticle zero and here we are in the zeroing menu so you can see my X is zero and my Y coordinates zero. And we've got the little red X uh, kind of in the middle of the reticle. We're going to be using that to move and tell it where the bullet impacted once we get that far. So let's go ahead and cock the gun and make sure we're on fire. And we're going to come in here and place a shot. Boy, I tell you, this screen is hard to see, but I think I got her there. Okay, so we took our shot. We'll look around there and see if we can tell where that went. I think that that's it right there. So we're gonna zoom out, or I'm gonna exit out of here real quick and zoom us in. I think it's right down there in that area right there. So we're gonna go back into that reticle zeroing menu. So I'm going right here to reticle settings reticle zero. We're going to hold that right where we were intending to hit. We're going to move the red X over to our bullet impact location. So I'm just hitting the left arrow to get that to move over. I'm just holding down on it. We got to go over just a little ways further. Then we're going to come down. I think I might have went a little too far. And we're going to come back a few clicks. I think that's about right. 
Okay, so we're, I think we're going to be pretty happy with that, so I'm going to go ahead and set the center button to save and accept that. I'm going to release that so you'll get kind of an idea of what's going to happen here. When I hit this, you'll see that that reticle is going to jump down into the approximate vicinity of where that bullet impact was, which is right there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cock the gun again. And now we'll come back over here to where we intended to hit. And you can see there, at least I'm, I'm up there pretty close on the target. Let's take another one. We're fighting quite a bit of wind here and it's hard for me to see this screen. But yeah, we're grouping them together. So if we want to make a pretty fine adjust on that, we're going to hit Hit that button again, come right back into reticle settings and here to reticle zero. And now we're gonna come down just a couple of clicks. You can see where I'm holding that. And then we're over here in about that location there. So center button press to save and accept that. And then now we're ready to shoot again. So we're gonna go ahead and cock the gun. I think that might have been me. I'm holding a little pressure on this. Yeah, I think that was about the same hole. So I think we've got it shooting pretty good given the windy conditions and that. Um, I'm gonna take the little eye scope off now and I'm gonna get down on the ground so I can get a little bit more stable um, with this tripod and we'll, we'll group it in there and um, I'm gonna film through the device itself so you'll be able to see, not only will you be able to see, but that'll make it a lot easier for me to see down through there as I'm making the changes. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to recording through the device. Uh, to do that, just do a short press up here and that'll start the internal record. Um, I'm shooting these little FX impact slugs. It's pretty windy out here, but we're gonna see how this will work. Um, I'm gonna adjust my tripod just a little bit here. I'll shoot probably five shot group. Walked all the way around that circle. <laughs> We're gonna come up here and we'll do another one. So I'd say she's shooting pretty good. If you want to check these out, you can see us on the web, www.foxoptic.com, or give me a call toll-free, 877-806-2977. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.